ever wondered how people are able to add custom ringtones to their iPhones, then you've stumbled across the right video. The way in which you would go about this has changed many times over the years, and the most recent of which is the way we're going to talk about today. The song that I'll be using is one that's royalty free through my Epidemic Sound subscription, but you can actually use any sound you want here. And without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, if you don't already have GarageBand, you'll want to head over to the App Store and get it downloaded. It's completely free and it's actually a natively developed app by Apple themselves. And then the second thing that you're going to want to have in place is to have whatever music or sound that you wish to use as your ringtone stored in your files application. And again, there are many different ways to achieve this, but the way I accomplished it is by airdropping it over from my MacBook, and then it will automatically open in the Files application on your iPhone. Once you have GarageBand opened up, you'll notice two options at the top of the page, and you'll want to select Tracks. Then shuffle through the different options that are displayed until you come across Audio Recorder, and you can go ahead and open it up. Now there's a few different steps here to get everything set up just right and make our lives a little easier. The first of which over here is on the middle right. You'll want to make sure that the metronome icon is deselected, meaning it shouldn't be highlighted in blue. Then over near the top left, you'll see this little icon that looks like a chart next to the inspector window. And if we go ahead and tap on it, it'll flip up and change over to a timeline view. And all the way at the right of that timeline is a little plus icon. And if we press it, it's going to open up a new window where the default is set to 8 bars and we're going to need to manually change that to 30 and now everything is set up in a way that will give us the best result. Now in order to add our song to the timeline, we'll press this loop icon, which is the second one from the right all the way at the top. We then get another pop-up window where we can navigate over to Files and then select Browse Items from the Files app at the bottom of the screen and then select the music or sound that you previously saved. Now touch and hold that file in order to drag it onto your timeline. It is important to note that GarageBand only supports the following file types, which I believe are all the more popular ones, but just so you're aware, it does have to be one of these. With your music now on the timeline, we can go ahead and drag it back to the beginning if needed and trim off any of the parts that we don't necessarily want as part of our ringtone. And if it makes it easier for fine-tune adjustments, you can also expand the timeline by dragging it apart. Once you double-check the playback and have just the one in parts of the song, then you'll tap this arrow icon all the way at the top left, and then tap My Songs, which will display the one we just worked on, along with any others you may have. And then if we tap and hold it, we'll get an option menu where you'll want to select Share, and then choose the bell icon in the middle to create a custom ringtone. Go ahead and rename the song something that you'll be able to remember and make it easier for you to find if you ever need it in the future. And then select export in the top right hand corner. Once the exporting is successful, we get another pop-up that will allow us to set it as our ringtone. Select use sound as, and then you can choose between using it as your default ring or text tone, or assign it to a particular contact. And then lastly, if you have multiple different ringtones or further down the line you want to switch back, you can easily accomplish this by going into your settings and selecting sound and haptics. And then you can choose between all your different sounds. And that's how you add a custom ringtone. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. You might also like this video over here where I talk you through how you can add any song to your Apple Music account. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.